Okay, this is a practice game called Magic Hat and all you need for this game is a magician's hat but if you haven't got one of those, any hat will do and for the game I have put words that we've been focusing on so these are phase four words in this game on card already prepared in the hat but like we used earlier, you can use post-it notes so for this game, the words are already in the hat and there's a reason that it's magic and we're going to find that out in a minute so we're going to say a uh, magic spell magic hat magic hat what's inside my magic hat can you join in boys are you ready mm -hmm. magic hat magic hat what's inside my magic hat okay Arlo would you like to hold my special wand and pull a word out of my magic hat Okay, don't show everybody. So the child who pulls the word out of the hat, keeps it to themselves and reads the word, building and blending to the rest of the group. Oh, this is a hard one. Can you read it out loud? Blend it back together. Splash. So it was, don't show him. Splash. Splash. Brilliant. So Noah or the rest of the children will be then having a go at writing that word down. And then you're going to show. Okay. Okay. And you're going to show Arlo. Are you going to hold your card up? Show him your card and check that he spelt it correctly. You're now the magician who's checking. So. Yes. Yes, he has. Let's have a look then. Show him your word. Hmm. So we've got hmm. Splash. Brilliant. He's got it right, hasn't it? Okay, thank you, boys. So quite simply, you pass that round to another child. Whoever gets the hat pulls out the word and reads it to the rest of the group, and the rest of them write it down. Okay. Hi, this is Peter from the maths team with another game for you to play at home. This one is called Race to the Finish and will help you to improve your counting skills. You need a spinner like this one here with a paper clip and a pencil. You also need a random number generator like this one. If you type random number generator into Google, this comes up. You also need a piece of paper and a pen to write your numbers down in your sequence and you need a hundred square to help you with your calculations if you need anything and also to check your answers at the end. I'm going to choose a starting number and as I'm playing the year three version I'm going to choose a number from one to forty and then I'm going to use the spinner to choose the size of the step that I'm going to count in. As I'm playing on my own today, I'm going to challenge myself to see how quickly I can write the next 10 steps in my sequence. So, shall we get started? First of all, choose a random number. And my number is 24. And then I'm going to use my spinner to decide my step size. Can you see? And my step size is counting in fives. So my starting number is 24. 
write that there. And my step size is starting in fives. And remember, I am being timed to see how quickly I can write the next 10 numbers in that sequence. Three, two, one, start. 24 add five is 29. 29 add five is 34. 39, 44, 49, 54, 59, 64, 69, 74. Stop. 24 seconds. So I did that in 24 seconds. Next time I'll see if I can beat that time. On the resource sheet, it tells you how this game can be played by different year groups by choosing a different step size and different starting numbers. If you're playing in twos or threes, see who's the first to reach a particular target number, such as 50 or 100. I hope you enjoy the game. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Mm -hmm.